Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and today we're looking into the setting of ELI function in SQL Payroll. So in this guide, we'll be looking into how we actually can create manager roles in your team, right? So managers are actually people that can approve leave for those that are under them. So before we set this, first of all, we need to understand which team the manager can approve the leave for. So let's say you have different managers for different branches and different departments in the office. So before we can do anything, we need to create the department and branches. So all you just need to do is come here, human resources, maintain branches. So here, let's say we have already created HQ, Penang, Johor, right? So let's close this and then we come back to human resource again. We come to department. So now we have already got accounts, HR, marketing, sales. You want to create one called warehouse, okay? So we come here, new, re show you as okay? Okay, so once we have created our department and our branches, so let's assign certain employees to that particular department and branches. Okay, <clears throat> so let's say example, Hossein and Candy are HQ and they belong to warehouse department. So we just need to come here, edit here, come to grouping here, and let's say example, they belong to HQ branch and then they belong to warehouse department. Save. And same for candy. Okay, so now we have two employees under HQ warehouse. So let's say example, we want to assign and we said Wani is the manager in charge and she can approve leave for these two person. So all we just need to do is come in here, edit. So we need to first take off this person, this is a manager. Alright, so once we tick manager, the elif function will come out. So we click elif here. So currently, because we never set anything, the system auto default to all employees. But let's say, for example, I want to apply or I want to only allow her to approve HQ department, eh, HQ branches, and we only allow her to do for warehouse. Alright, so we press add. So then this will have that setting. She can only approve for HQ branches for warehouse department. Alright, once we're done, we press save. So before it can have any impact, what happens is we need to do a sync. So we come here to the cloud here, sync cloud, and all we just need to do is sync now. Okay, so once sync, then of course her eLeave app will be updated and she can actually do the leave approval. Alright, so that's how easy it is to assign manager roles for e-leave approval in SQL Payroll. Do like and subscribe to be updated when we release guides on how to use your solution more efficiently. Thank you.